<laughs> Sometimes you just, you find the weirdest things online. The internet has done it yet again and found me a whole bunch of products that are very overhyped, spanning such a wide variety today. And we're gonna see what is actually worth spending money on, if anything. Because sometimes I find gems and sometimes the internet tricks me. None of them are good. And speaking of gems that I have found on the internet, today's video is sponsored by Halara. They are a female founded company that makes a ton of athletic and athleisure clothing. I have both tested them separately about a year ago and then also more recently worked with them. And you guys love the outfits that I showed you last time so I am back we have some more and they're they're so cute I will link all of them down below and just for reference I am about five foot ten and a half ish and I am wearing all size small in this video first of all look at this bodysuit romper this is the everyday cloudful bodysuit set it has the pockets on both sides it has the built-in bra with the removable padding it's ridiculously comfortable no seam down the middle important you might be asking yourself Rachel how is this a set <laughs> well you know what Ta -da. So you get the romper and then you get this little dress to go on over top. So I wear the romper like to Pilates and then I'll pop this on over top if I want to go like bop out and run some errands or something. This comes together as a set so you almost get like two pieces for one. They also have different options with this dress for different heights or chest sizes. By the way, do you love that I just breezed over Pilates like I've been going for years? I've gone a total of five times, guys. Then we have these shorts that I'm literally obsessed over. Like if a princess was a short, they would be these ones. These are the drawstring flowy two-in-one shorts and they have like the flowy material on the outside so they kind of like flare out a bit and make, give you the illusion of hips because I'm built like a rectangle. And then they have the buttery soft leggings underneath so it's like really comfortable. And I bought these specifically for Pilates but if you want more like an athleisure fit, I recommend sizing up. And these are in the shade Blue Spruce, by the way, in case you wanna get them, you can like match. And then of course, I couldn't resist a match of black set. I got the cloudful square neck curved hem cropped tank top because I like that it's a tank top but it feels a little bit more covered. It is so ridiculously soft and as with everything I buy from Alara, it's got the built-in bra as well as the removable padding and then I just paired it with their five inch pet hair resistant leggings which they have the pockets on the side, very important. And then of course I needed this dress. Look how cute look at the back. I never get to wear stuff like this because I always have to wear a bra, but this has the built-in bra. This is the backless twisted ballet dress. This is the shade Salsa, which I absolutely love. It also has the built-in shorts. It's got a nice like big pocket right here. Now there might be only one person that loves Halara more than I do, and that is my mother-in-law who loves them, especially for tennis. She loves playing tennis. And so I mentioned this to the very kind humans at Halara. And so when they sent me these outfits, they sent a whole bunch of stuff from my mother-in-law too. And this is like perfect timing too, because like my mother-in-law had a surgery recently and she's been recovering from that slowly. So I'm so excited to go to surprise her with these. <laughs> Best Mother's Day. <laughs> So that was really nice, Halara. Thank you so much. I have a 20% off code, Rach20. You can go and check it out down below for any of their full price items. You also get a free canvas bag as well. Let me know in the comments if you end up getting anything. A big thanks to Halara for sponsoring this video and for sending those lovely presents for my mother-in-law. Now let's dive into testing some products. And we're gonna start with a perfume combination that the girl online said that when she went outside, 11 people stopped her to find out what she was wearing. 11. I don't think I've ever been stopped for my perfume before before. That's a lot of people. And it was actually a combination of two different perfumes. So I actually got some of both and I got like little sample ones because I don't know if I'm gonna like it or not. And they're expensive. One is um, or Oriana by Parfum de Marly, I believe is the brand name. It's very expensive. And then the other one, look at, I just got like a little guy. This is Escapade Gourmand by Maison. Mataya, Mataha, Mataha. I'm pronouncing that very badly. But the combination of these two is supposed to be incredible. So smelling them both separately. I don't know if I like the Oriana one. Oriana is supposed to be like a fruity floral gourmand perfume, which is interesting. Again, I'm just, I'm, I haven't tried it on yet, but it's interesting because a lot of these notes I really like. Top notes of grapefruit, mandarin, mid notes, raspberry, orange blossom, base notes, marshmallow, musk, whipped cream, a little bit of ambrette. Like these are all things that I like. This just isn't, it's not hitting for me, but maybe it's different when you combine it with the Escapade one. Such a little <laughs> sample. Gotta be very careful. I can't even smell this one. I don't know how I feel about this. Okay, I'm gonna put like a little bit. I'm gonna I'm gonna layer a little bit on one wrist because maybe it's different when it's on, you know? Okay, letting it dry down. All right, I kind of understand a little bit. It's a lot more of like a night, 
like a sexy scent. I'm gonna let it dry down and just see how I feel about it. Right now it's not immediately grabbing me though. But again, scents are very personal and they can smell very different on every single person. And maybe this one isn't just, it's just not meant for me. We're gonna do a little bit of an experiment on my hair. I know, don't worry, if you're new here. My hair is very sensitive right now. It's going through some things, but we are healing. We are getting better. It's a slow process, very slow. But we're gonna be trying the very famous, constantly selling out Color Wow Pop and Lock High Gloss Finish Serum. This has a UV heat protectant, it's supposed to frizz control, and it's very sparkly. I don't know if you can even see how sparkly she is. See that glitter in there? You can see that for sure. But anytime I've seen people use it and put it on their hair, it just looks so like beautiful. Not at all greasy. And that's gonna be the test because my hair, I washed this yesterday and you can already see like a little bit, it's like a hint of grease. It's like almost there. But one thing I realized yesterday after blow drying my hair was that this could be used on wet hair. It can be used on dry hair too. So I will try it on wet hair as well and see if there's a difference. But first we're gonna try it on dry because clearly that is what I have right now. So let me, um, <laughs> let me brush my hair for you <laughs> just so we can get like a good, a good before shot, you know? And like you can see already, it's already starting to get greasy. Ah! But you can see it is, it's coming back to life, which is nice. Can you see all that? Look at that, she coming back. But I'm still getting a lot of like hair in my brush. So um, anyway, working on it. I really want to do some highlights for summer and like chop it a little bit, but I am too scared at this point. So let's try this and see how I feel. Apply sparingly to wet hair, style as usual, or lightly smooth over dry styled hair for glossy shine. Ooh, okay. I I thought I was gonna put this on first, but <laughs> actually we're gonna do something else first. I've been putting this one off because it just looks ridiculous, but I've seen too many people use this and now I have to. I like we were really were right there to use this, but then it said styled and this is not styled. So <laughs> let's move on. We are gonna be trying a product that I, <laughs> I saw it and I was like, no, but then it worked and I was like, Okay, but then I kept seeing it over and over because that's how the internet works. They're like, you liked that a lot. So I'm just gonna show you all the videos of that. And it's this, it's like a, like a heat bonnet, bonnet dryer attachment. And basically you can use this for like a whole bunch of different things. But what I've seen people use it for is putting in like rollers or curling rods or some sort of curling thing on dry hair and using that to sort of heat up the, the hair to help lock in the curl without actually using a ton of like direct heat on your hair. But I feel like this would also be good now that I'm like thinking this through. I wonder if this would be good for like, if you put a mask into your hair, and then put some heat in it. Cause that's one thing that always works really well for my hair. My hair loves like heat with a mask and it helps like soak it in. I wonder if that would be good for that. I guess we'll find out. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to put uh, my hair into like curling things. And why I'm testing this having washed my hair yesterday is because it will curl a lot easier if I have just washed it and blow dried it. Like I know it'll hold some curl, but I wanna know if I can get away with having not done anything to my hair yesterday and just trying to like make my hair do something today because typically it wouldn't. So we're gonna do my favorite, which is this. I don't know if you've seen these before, but it works really well. They're like sock curls, but you can also use it with a, um, like one of the, um, my brain isn't braining today. You know those things that, that the ties, the ties for your robe, the ties for your robe. So I like to use the tie for my robe. I need a clip. Uno sacanto. Actually, haha, just kidding. I'm just going to use my elastic. But I'm a big fan of doing this because I think that it, it gives you really nice looking curls. And then I can just, I can sleep in this overnight and it doesn't bother me. So the only thing with this particular hairstyle, I'm gonna put a little bit of water in this, just like a, a tooch. Basically just on the outside of my hair, like it's not like, you can see, it's not, it's not wet. It's just that I have a lot of fine hair. And so it just sticks to the robe. That's the one downside to this. It's really annoying. Basically, all you're gonna do is you're gonna take a top section. This has nothing to do with the product, but I feel like I want to explain because this took me a long time to figure out. And you wrap it back around all the way to the front again, loop it around. Then I'm gonna take a piece from the back, the top back, right up here. See, right there, that little piece. And I'm going to loop it over top towards the front and then whoop, loop it back, back around to the back, like so. Then with this piece that's around in the front, I'm going to gather some more hair. Smaller sections for a tighter curl, bigger sections for a looser curl. And then we wrap back 
and around to the front. And then again, you grab hair from the back to the front, twist all the way around. And then I'm just gonna do that on all of my hers. And then once you get to the bottom here, you're just gonna twist it around, twist it around, and then you need to tie it off with a, haha, this guy. Leave the ends a little bit loose, boom, done. And I'm just gonna do this on the other side. Ta-da! We're done. <laughs> Sometimes you just, you find the weirdest things online. You're like, I'm going out in the rain in the 40s or as a two-year-old. I don't know if the 40s was the right um, choice here, but it's just, it's giving bonnet. Bonnet, but waterproof. Waterproof bonnet. I would sell that in the 40s or 30s or whenever bonnets were big. Tens? I'm so good at history. <laughs> anyway, this is my fun little device here. Okay, I'm getting a little excited about it. So. What do we need for this, everyone? Are we prepared? I don't think we are. First, we gotta put this on like this, of course. Make sure all the hair is in there. Oh, yes. <laughs> What's the next step? Do you like your purchase? This isn't instructions. I guess I'm just, I'm just gonna figure it out. Okay, so I assume this needs to be pulled. Sealing the magic, you know. Oh, now, now I'm going to swim. I'm going swimming now. Somewhere, Lo is just squealing with excitement. She also found her, this on her TikTok and was like, "What? why haven't you tried this yet? And apparently a chin strap. Buckle up, guys. We're about to have some real good hair. <laughs> oh, yes. This is, this is it, everyone. This goes over my blow dryer. I'm gonna need the little thing for it. This doesn't like my blow dryer. I need to find the little, cor the little, um, Magnet thing. Ah, it'll fit this guy. Okay, is everyone ready for magic? Oh, yeah, this is awesome. All right, everyone, are we ready? <laughs> ready for this? Here we go. Okay, it's getting nice and warm. Sometimes you look at yourself and you're like, what are you doing? This is one of those moments. You want it to get nice, nice and warm. I wonder if I can make it hotter. Ooh, oh, that's too hot, too hot. Too hot, I hated that, I hated that. Now I'm gonna put it on cool. There we go. I think we're ready, everyone. In terms of use, it's very easy. It's just, you have to be willing to put in the work. Like, do the heatless curls, do this thing. But I, I mean, this is only from this perspective. I don't actually know if it's worked yet. But that was like, that was easy, you know? So we shall remove. <laughs> Ooh, I wonder if there's a line on my forehead. Ooh, a little bit. A little bit of a line. Something to keep in mind. Maybe don't do your makeup first. Can I like blend it out? Oh yeah, that's gonna go down. That'll go down shortly. I'm at the age now where lines on my face, they don't just like immediately go away like they did in my 20s, where you just like lie down, you have like a big thing from like a sleep mask and you're like, that's fine, like give it five minutes. And now it's like, oh, this is gonna be on me for the rest of the day. I'll take this out in a second, but first we're gonna try on some lip products. And I didn't realize when I got this that I actually get three different shades, which is fun. I thought I was just gonna get one. And it's a very interesting looking applicator for a lipstick and it is not written in English. So I'm just going to very quickly translate this to make sure I know what I'm applying. It's called Lazy Pearl Lipstick. And I don't know how the three different ones, but the one I saw was blue, but it went on like this like really pretty tin. Oh, there we go. Look at this everyone. Oh my gosh, it wheels. I didn't even realize that. Look at that. That's fun. Okay, this one's sparkly. Are they all sparkly? Let's open another one. Oh, this one's pink. Pretty, also sparkly. Oh, and this one is red. Ta-da. Okay, well, obviously, obviously we're gonna do the blue one. Not even a question. I'm gonna take this off. Oh, can I smell anything? Like, it's nice. I don't know if this is me, though. That's where I'm at with this one. The, the perfumes, as I just randomly just smell myself. It's a little too perfume forward if that makes sense. There's not enough like roundness to the scent. I like a lot of round notes. I like less uh, or more subtle, subtle floral notes. I don't like anything really citrusy. It's a little too like, you know that perfume that like stringent, that's the wrong word. It's not the right word, but do you know what I'm talking about? It's a little too heavy on that. So I don't really love it as much, but I can see why people would like it though. So let's try this on. So girl, she, she just like she bite it, but you know what I mean? Like. Ah, don't actually bite it. Oh, that is, that's blue. Da -ba -dee -da -ba -da. Oh, but it's not. Wait, that's drying down more pink. What do we feel about this one? It's mildly blue, but is it just blue tinted? 
you know? I'm trying not to like, cause the dress is very warm toned. And so I'm trying not to let that get in the in the way. Cause I think if I was wearing a different top that this might work. Hang on, where's my t-shirt from earlier? Oh, it's way over there. What about the sweater? Anyone else just surround yourself with clothing that you've worn recently? Does that match more? It still looks a little blue. Dabba dee dabba da. I will never not say that. What if I go like this? I smush some of the blue out. It is catching a little bit more on the inside than it is in other places, but that's, you know, that's what you get if you don't um, fully exfoliate your lips, which I did, or at least I thought I did, but maybe not well enough. But that's a, like, that's a pretty stain though. Feels nice and hydrating. Honestly, I, I'm not mad at that. That's really nice. I am not seeing any like, like sparkles or whatever, but I may have just also just wiped it off because it, again, it's a stain. What if I put a little bit of like a, like a lip gloss? I like that. I think that's pretty. Okay, now let's take out the hair thing. Cause again, I don't want to leave this in for a huge amount of time because I, I really wanted to see if the thing would actually make a difference and would make my hair even mildly curly. Okay, let's see. Oh no. Okay, let's take a look. Honestly, honestly, that's not bad. That is not bad. Like that is more definition that I would have gone without it for sure. And in a much, quicker period of time. So I bet if I had showered, dried my hair and put this on to like sort of heat seal it, you know, it would have been a lot quicker than having to wear it overnight. Now you do put heat on your hair technically, but it's not the same as like wrapping a curling iron around it. Okay, that's kind of cool. So now, now we can finally try this, um, the Color Wow, the Pop and Lock High Gloss Finish. Tiny amount, they say, tiny amount. I don't know how much is a tiny amount, so I'm using this much. Barely see it on my hand there. Rub it in. And I'm gonna do it on one side and we're gonna see for shine what kind of a difference it me it does. Did I use too little? Hold on, is this shiny? I'm honestly not noticing a, a huge difference, but I did use a very, very small amount. Maybe I could put a little bit more on, not a ton, but like more on the ends, you know? Unfortunately, I am ruining the curls in the process, all in the name of non-greasy shine. Okay, is this side more shiny than this side? That's side one without it. And then side two, now Saul's curls with it on. I'm gonna be honest, I don't really notice a difference. However, I would be curious to try it on my straight hair once I've like flat ironed it. Cause sometimes the ends, they're looking a little, you know, ooh. And it smells really nice, very like fresh smelling, but in that like salon fresh kind of way. I like the smell. My hands don't look overly glitter. Oh, a little bit. Yeah, no, I see the glitter on there. You're gonna have to wash your hands for sure. But I don't notice a difference right now, but my hair is probably the healthiest it has been in like two years. Very proud of myself. So I will try this on fully straightened hair and just see how it looks um, on camera. I'll probably try it for my next Rach Loves Life video. I'll try it on my hair. So let me know if you notice it there. And then the next product, I'm gonna be honest, I entirely forgot about. In fact, I almost lost it. So I'm gonna make future Rachel try it. It's up, future Rachel here. Coming out of a nasty cold that just refuses to die. But I will prevail because we have two products. I thought it was one, but I actually forgot two. Can't believe it, they were both on my desk. Two products and we need to try them out. Number one is a nose stencil that's supposed to give you this like really beautiful contour look to your nose. And I don't know if you know this, if you've been here a while, you know, I don't tend to contour my nose because anytime I attempt to do anything that's contour at all, it just looks like dirt. It just looks like dirt that I spread around my face. So this is supposed to help that. And I actually had this pegged for a video um, a while back and it took five ever to, to ship here. It was just a little guy, but I think it was coming from the UK if I'm not mistaken. This one, it comes in a couple of different um, size options as well, depending on your nose shape and size because everyone's is a little bit different. And it's supposed to be like this and then you shade in the little lines and you have a little dot for some highlight. Just a little boop. I had my nails and everything, I had everything all prepared to film and then I just like, you know? And it's always the parents. First, all the kids get sick and you're like, I'm, I'm gonna power through this. I've clearly already had it because I am still well. Then when you least expect it, there's like a, a beat, like a, like a day where everyone's well and then parents, they all just like nosedive. <laughs> 
awful. Anyway, I guess the first question is, is what contouring products do I have? I have a matte bronzer, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with that for now and just see if I like the shape before I go hunting around some more. So first things first, oh, that smells. What are you? You're butter bronzer. You are a different butter bronzer. You smell different. All right, anyway, I'm gonna put it like this and then you're supposed to hold it like this on both sides. Oh, I guess I should need to show you. So I have a before and after. Here we go, right here. This is what my nose looks like. Okay, we have a good good visual of the before, I feel like. Okay, now we're gonna put this on. Very important <laughs> that it be um, straight. And then I need a brush. How about this guy? Do you have stuff on you? Hopefully not. And then we're gonna shade in on the sides here. One side, two sides. So good. I do like how long the, um, the sides are to hold. That's very helpful. Then I couldn't find like a like a powder or something. So I'm gonna try like a really subtle highlight. <laughs> I don't know if you can see. I'm just attempting here. Will that do anything? Who's to say? Ooh, that does not look subtle, Rachel. That's not the look we're going for here. Let's try that again. Might be too late. Might not be though. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Found like a, a lighter eyeshadow. Will this make it worse? I don't know. Am I just setting in? The highlight? I could be. And then we need a little dollop of highlight in the in the center here. Okay. We're just gonna do a little dot right there. Ta-da! Okay, ready everyone? So slim. I do like that I was pressing so hard that you can see the outlines down there. Awesome. Then you're supposed to take a brush to kind of like again, just like get the lines out there. I don't know. What do you think? Again, taking into consideration that I am feeling a little bit under the weather today. I mean, I see it. I don't know how I feel about it. I'm curious to see like a side-by-side -side if there's any sort of very distinct difference. And again, don't have a lot of makeup on here today. So um, maybe it looks different once you have like the full, the full glam, you know? But it was very easy to hold down and like apply all the products. So that's good. Now let's try the other product. This is the, this is the original one that I forgot. And it is called Babe Lash. This guy right here. And this is supposed to help give you like that um, separated lash look. So even when you're applying a ton of different mascaras, they're not gonna like clump together because you have this little spider guy. So we're gonna curl my lashes. Beautiful. And then we're gonna do some mascara. So it says to do one coat and while the mascara is still wet, to run the babe lash through. Ta-da. I'm gonna do one eye with it and then one eye without it and just see what the difference looks like. I'm gonna apply another coat, wiping off any product in between, going in. And just following the directions. Let's do three coats just for funsies. Really get a layered look in here today. This mascara changes so dramatically after you add a third coat, at least in my opinion. I'm gonna be honest, mate, I don't know. I don't know if I see anything. It definitely does make a big difference if you're wiping it off between each use. If you just keep going in over and over, it doesn't seem to pull them apart as well. That is the one side, and now I'm gonna go on with the other side and not do that. Just do what I would like normally do. So, there is the two sides. Combed, not combed. Now this mascara in particular, I tend to only do two coats because I find three, it just goes insane. Just super feral craziness. And I would always wait until it's like fully dry and then do a really light curl on it. I find that my lashes can tolerate that. In terms of difference between the two, I would say that this side is clumpier for sure, but it is a lot of extra steps you do have to like wipe in between each use and then go in like let's see now that I have this on it's not dry yet I'm gonna see if we can take it from this to this you really want to get in at the root and don't do this if you have already put uh, <laughs> eyeshadow on look at my look at my lids okay did it remove a lot of the clumping yes do my lashes look good I would say no like they just kind of look flat now let's clean up my lids a little bit and then like recurl the lashes maybe that'll make a difference okay i'm gonna let this dry and then curl my lashes we're gonna see what it looks like okay that's what it's looking like now honestly they did not look that different this doesn't look much different than me applying my mascara in the two coats i normally do i think that this would be useful on like occasion when i find that my mascara is like clumping up a lot i'm trying a new mascara and i'm like ah, i need to wear this then this tool could be quite useful but do i see myself reaching 
searching for this every single time I apply mascara? No, not so much. Leave me a comment down below and let me know if you've tried any of these products or seen them come across your social feeds because this, no, it's a no. Big thanks again to Halara for sponsoring today's video. Check out my 20% off code down below for all of their regular priced items. I hope that you guys are having a fantastic, fantastic week and I will see you guys all in the next one.